Hello everybody and welcome to this 20th chapter in your Java E7 tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will be talking about internationalization and localizing web applications. So the web is accessible to the entirety of the world of every ethnicity, culture, and country. This means that when you upload a website on the World Wide Web, your website should be able to change its language depending on its locality. This is where internationalization and localizing web applications come in. So first of all, internationalization is the process of preparing an application to support more than one language or data format. While localization is the process of adapting an internationalized web application to a specific locale or region. To make things more simpler, understand that an uh, internationalization um, like website would be basically like a template for every single website so that localization of the website can be thrust upon. Like let's say um, like some things are uh, basically like everybody understands that's internationalized and some things that are different in different countries that is localized in the website. So what we'll be talking about is um, the Java platform localization classes, providing localized messages and labels, date and number formatting and character sets and encodings. So getting right into it, let's go into platform localization classes. So first of all, the locale uh, is a representation of a specific geographical, cultural or political region and its language. They're represented in a string format with a two letter abbreviation for the language and an underscore and then another abbreviation for the region. Then there's the resource bundle, which is a local data which is stored within a resource bundle and it stores the data through key value pairs. A resource bundle can be backed using a text file or a class. So providing localized messages and labels. There are two ways to um, localize messages and labels. Either you can provide a version of the web page in each of the target locales and have a controller servlet dispatch the request to the appropriate page, depending on the requested locale. This approach is useful if large amounts of data on a page or an entire web application needs to be internationalized. Or you can isolate any locale sensitive data on a page into resource bundles and then access that data so the corresponding translated message is fetched automatically and inserted into the page. This creates um, strings directly in your code and you create a resource bundle that contains the translations and read the translation from that bundle using the corresponding key. So the difference between this and this is that in this case, you change the entire web page where that you have a separate web page for Spanish viewers while um, in this way, uh, you can actually change this locale sensitive. For example, everything is English, except for the dollar sign. Let's say you want to change it into a European pound and you can localize that point. Next, let's establish local. You can either implicitly get the local uh, if you wish using the get local or allow the user to explicitly set the local by using the set local tag. This example show, sets the default locale to English and then sets the supported locales as well. For example, Spanish, German, and French. And in this example, a Java class can then retrieve the local by, get it, uh, by using the get locale method over here. And to set the resource bundle, the resource bundle is set inside the configuration file, which is our faces config.xml. And um, now you can either have the controller from the MVC pattern uh, retrieve the resource bundle, in this case over here, or you can have a tag that loads the resource bundle, in this case over here. So let's take a look at date and number formatting. In Java programs, you can either, either use the date format dot get uh, date instance with the int and locale to parse data in a local sensitive manner. You can also use the number format dot get blank instance local method where the blank can be either a currency, a number or a percent to parse numbers in a local sensitive manner. Now the usual character settings computers mainly used was the US ASCII, but the uh, issue with the US ASCII is that it was only um, like beneficial for American English. 
which made a lot of people really angry because not a lot of people understood American English. So now computers use Unicode, which is much more inclusive in its characters and symbols. And now the most common character encoding is UTF-8 and UTF-16, which e each of them have their own benefits, but UTF-16 is mostly used now nowadays since it has more characters. And that wraps it up for today's tutorial, everybody. I hope you understood why internationalization and localizing your web applications is extremely important when you want to put your websites onto the web so that people don't get angry because they can't read your website. But until that, I'll see you in the next video where we'll be talking about bean validation and the introduction to bean validation.